Every day we have thoughts of things we would like to do, but something holds us back at times. We never know what we are capable of in life until we push our limits. We're capable of more than we think we are. Unlimited Journey will show what it's like to just go for it and test your limits and go beyond those limits. You'll see accomplishments and failures, but it's about not giving up. You'll laugh, you'll feel motivated, inspired, and maybe even cry. It's also about creating awareness and raise money for a charity that helps amputee children with prosthetics. Let us be the force that helps motivate you through life's challenges. So I'm really excited about this morning. It's 7 a.m. We're gonna get an early start because we have a long trek to the top of the mountain. We're going up on top of Mount Washington. Climb the mountain. It's gonna be a fun day. I'm really excited to see Mike conquer this. That's what I'm really excited for. You know, he's been really passionate about trying to climb a mountain, and he's he's had a lot of obstacles to get to this point, but he's been working hard at it. So I'm here to support him and his charity, Lost Limbs Foundation. This is gonna be epic. My name's Mike Couch, and I'm the founder of the Lost Limbs Foundation, and the charity is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that helps kids with prosthetics. I was born with a venous malformation in just the right leg and foot. The veins were just knotted up my entire life. Um, in school, I struggled because like PE and like different classes like that, and I had to rush to get to classes, and there was pain and swelling. I'd have times that I would struggle at home because I just couldn't get around um, and it just caused more problems. I got into like late 2009 and uh, started getting blood clots. So uh, we tried a few things. The doctor made an attempt to see what he could do to help and nothing really worked and he pretty much set me down and said, you have two choices. He said, we can either um, take a risk at a, a clot, maybe going to your heart or your lungs and possibly killing you, or we can amputate your leg just above the knee and hopefully things will be normal after that. Going through that was kind of tough because you, you ultimately only have one choice. Um, the only choice is to obviously go through the amputation, you know, you're taking a chance, but at least I know that there's a chance I'm going to be around uh, versus a clot maybe, you know, going to my, my heart or lungs or whatever and just that'd be it. It's really tough dealing with it. Um, a lot of people kind of, kind of give up on things after it gets so bad. Uh, I fortunately had a lot of support with family and friends, and I just I stayed positive about everything, thinking it could be a lot worse than what it is. And I just I thought, you know, why not take something bad that happened to me and turn it into something positive to help somebody else. The charity was just something that. I just the cost of prosthetics and everything being so high and I struggled getting help myself so it was basically my struggles that I dealt with um, and I thought about kids kids are constantly growing and like my socket for instance they would tell me if you you know if you gain weight or if you lose weight then we have to replace the socket all over again which costs thousands of dollars um, kids are constantly growing so they're going through multiple sockets probably three or four in just a year. Uh, it's just like growing, outgrowing shoes. Honestly, when the charity, when I started it, um, the first kid that we helped, um, I went and met with the kid and the family and had breakfast with them. And we uh, made a donation to help the family, you know, help the, the kid with the prosthetics and stuff. And I, just hearing their story with what happened and knowing like the struggles that I've dealt with in my life and then seeing a kid go through what I've dealt with and it was hard to deal with as an adult then um, you know it was tough I, I honestly I, I went back to my hotel uh, my hotel room and I kind of just kind of fell apart basically um, I, I questioned whether or not I could do this because um, it's tough but you know, I thought I don't have any choice I need this this 
something like this needs to happen, you know. Um, kids need to get these prosthetics that they need. Um, they need the help that we're trying to provide. So I had this crazy idea, um, I wanted to do something different because I've always had these limits on what I can and can't do with my leg. So I got the crazy idea, I wanted to climb a mountain, so I give Nick Groff a call and say, hey, I want to climb a mountain and raise money for the charity. So Nick was like, let's do it. <laughs> I don't know, man, let's, just, uh, let's do it, uh, let's, I don't know, let's do it, let's do it. Like, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> I, you know, I have had people just kind of just tell me, you know, you should do something really cool that's different for the charity. And I thought climbing a mountain would be nuts. <laughs> it would be something crazy that would be a, a huge challenge that would be not impossible, but it would take a lot of work. Um, and it's something that would be pushing the boundaries for me. It's going to be a crazy challenge. I haven't done this since age 12. I actually went up the mountain once and uh, it was a lot of um, pain. When I met Mike, I knew his charity was great for the Lost Limbs Foundation to help raise money for the children. And you know, even doing this climb right now, it brings awareness that we can't stop at anything that challenges us in our life, we have to pursue it, we have to push forward, we have to give ourselves goals. We're challenging ourselves, especially Mike. I love his mentality going into this and his passion. He wants to conquer this mountain. I'm right there next to him. I'm not gonna let him down. I'm gonna help him up all the way to the top. That's my mission, to show everybody that you can do this. When someone says, I wanna conquer that, I have a goal, this is my mission, and I'm going to do it, I will be right there with you because I love that passion because that's what I live for. I have the same passion and drive in this world. So it just helps push me in my own life, mentally and physically. So I'd love to be right there by his side as we go to the top and rise to the occasion to help raise money for children. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, good, yeah. Good go. Yeah, this stuff like this is just, yeah, just a matter of taking my time. I'm gonna have to carry you over the river on the first part, and you have to go across a log. So you're about what? 165? 65. Oh, it's not bad. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah, go this way. I'll hold you up this way. Now we do what? <laughs> what? I was trying to think how to pick you up. I don't know. Um, here. Just hop on. Just <laughs> <laughs> hop on. Don't, don't go that way. Go side. Uh, like, Can you go like sideways? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Holy crap. Alright, so ah. we'll be good. Go, <laughs> go, like go, go, go sideways. Huh? I want to hold you sideways like this, because it will be easier to go sideways. <laughs> no, actually, I <laughs> haven't. <laughs> well, I'm not going to cradle you like a baby. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I could. I could cradle you like a baby. Yeah, that, that would look good, wouldn't it? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, basically, I want to flip you up like I'm carrying a body, <laughs> you know? That's, that's how so we like want to go across. Just okay. I mean, if you piggyback me, it's going to be super on balance because we have to go across the log. <laughs> it's slippery. I don't want to fall in with you. It's going to hurt. Yeah, I don't want to fall Dude, in with you. Dude, the drop off on one side is pretty, pretty steep. If you, I can't grab all wallet. If you yeah, I don't spin that way. Yeah. There you go. And, oh, 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 crap. oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. That's how. Oh. <laughs> Did you drop me? There's no way I'm doing this climb. <laughs>